Welcome to the first series of lectures on thermodynamics, equations and problem-based learning. This is organized by www.unitoperations.com and my name is Shekhar Bhattacharya. Uh, uh, under the equation bank on chemical engineering thermodynamics and this is given in or posted in www.unitoperations.com. There are several equations and there will be a series of equations that will be posted. But the very first one we have selected is on open, closed and isolated systems. So we are going to discuss briefly with explain graphically what is an open system, what is a closed system and what is an isolated system. In case of an open system, so this is my system here, uh, this is surrounding, so anything within the boundary, this boundary could be either fixed or this could be movable. So anything within the boundary is called the system and uh, anything outside the boundary is called the surrounding. In case of an open system, the exchange of mass between the system and the surrounding is allowed. Exchange of mass between system and surrounding is allowed. So, mass can come in from the surrounding to the system or mass can go out from the system to the surrounding. Similarly, energy in the form of heat and work uh, can be exchanged between the system and the surrounding. So, energy of exchange of energy between system and surrounding is allowed. So, this energy can be in the form of either heat and work and we will try to see examples of both of them when you go to the real life problems. So, uh, as you can see, for an open system, exchange of both mass and energy is allowed. In case of a uh, closed system, as you can see that the exchange of mass between the system and surrounding is not allowed, is not allowed, but the exchange of energy, but the exchange of energy is allowed. So, the mass, whatever is inside the system remains fixed, but the energy can be added again in the form of heat and work from the surrounding system or energy can be removed from the system to the surrounding. There is a special case where the exchange of mass or energy, neither of them is allowed. As you can see, exchange of mass or the energy, neither of them is allowed. In that case, we can say this is an isolated system. So, in case of an isolated system, during the process, the total mass and the total energy of the system remain fixed. Let's go to uh, some typical examples here. So that so this is my continuous water heater. So there is a water here. So there is water here, and this water heater, as you can see, water continuously flows inside the system. So this is the cold water. So this is the cold water comes in, and this is the hot water that's going out and uh, the water is being heated with the help of a heater. So there is an exchange of energy between the surrounding and the system and there is an exchange of mass between the su surrounding and the system. Here you can see the mass is entering the system and the mass is going out of the system. Similarly, some amount of energy comes in, some amount of energy is absorbed here and the some amount, the remaining amount of energy goes out. So the, here is you can see the exchange of mass and the surrounding both are happening. So this is an example of an open system. Let's go to the next. Okay. Second is a helium contained in a piston cylinder assembly is being heated by a coil, coil heater. So in a piston cylinder system there's a helium gas and that's being heated. So let's go to the diagram. So this is the problem B here. As you can see, anything within the piston cylinder system is called a system. So, this is my helium here and anything outside of the system is of course my surrounding. And here, heater is so some amount of energy is going in to heat the helium here. So, in this particular case, as you can see, the exchange of mass is not allowed because whatever the helium is here, that remains fixed and that remains inside the piston cylinder system. So, there is no exchange of mass, no exchange of mass between the system and the surrounding, but there is an exchange of energy between the system and the surrounding. So, this is an example of a closed system. A balloon 
which is this is one a balloon which is being inflated with air so here so this go. is a balloon so this is a balloon here and of course the mass is being continuously poured in uh, to inflate the balloon so this is my system and of course the balloon uh, skin is the boundary here and anything outside the skin of the balloon is of course the surrounding so there's an exchange of mass between the system and the surrounding which is air which is coming in and there might be some exchange of energy between the system and the surrounding if there is a difference in temperature between the air in the balloon and the air outside so again this is an example of an open system because this allows an exchange of mass between the system and surrounding and this also allows exchange of energy between the system and surrounding let's go to the next problem here next problem is this one carbon monoxide reacting with oxygen in an insulated piston cylinder assembly so let's go to the diagram here so here as you can see this is carbon monoxide and of course oxygen is here carbon monoxide oxygen is here and if there's a reaction going on and if there's a reaction going on there probably will be some formation of carbon dioxide and maybe something else but primarily we assume that the carbon dioxide is formed by the reaction between carbon monoxide and oxygen so this is my system here and also it says this is an insulated one so here there is we'll just draw this one to show that there is no exchange of energy between the system and the surrounding here so in this particular case there is no exchange of mass between the system and the surrounding and there is no exchange of energy between the system and the surrounding since there is an insulation here so this is a typical example of an isolated system let's go to the next example here which is a jet engine where fuel and air being burnt continuously so let us go to the next diagram here so let's say this is the engine here where fuel continuously comes in air comes in and there of course is a small kind of a burner where the fuel and the air burn to produce different combustion products which could be typically carbon monoxide oxygen nitrogen oxides etc etc so this engine system this is my system and anything outside this is the surrounding so there is an exchange of mass this is the mass these are the masses which are the exchange of mass which are coming in exchange of mass so mass coming in and the combustion products going out so there's an exchange of mass between the system and the surrounding and there's an exchange of energy between the system and surrounding also as it is getting heated some amount of heat is being transferred from this hot combustion engine to the surrounding. So exchange of mass is allowed, exchange of energy is allowed. So this is an example of an open system. Hopefully this explains the ideas of the concepts of open system, closed system and the isolated system. So we we'll just typically uh, will go for one uh, quick uh, recap of the situation of, of this it's uh, definitions uh, for open system exchange of mass is allowed exchange of energy is allowed in case of a closed system exchange of mass is not allowed energy is allowed in case of a uh, 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 isolated system neither the exchange of mass neither the exchange of energy is allowed okay i'll give an example so mainly what we've discussed exchange of heat and thermal energy so uh, let me give an example where it could be the exchange of work. So let's go here. So if we compress this gas or if we, if we compress this one uh, uh, in the, uh, uh, or, or if we allow to expand this one, in that case, of course, there will be mechanical uh, mm, uh, 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 energy which is being exchanged. That's the work that is being exchanged between the system and the surrounding in that case if that is allowed then that is an example of the exchange of mechanical work uh, which is different from the thermal energy but if there's a stop here and if there's a stop here that does not allow the movement of the piston 
So here, as you can see, the exchange of work as a form of energy is not allowed. So, so this is an example exchange of thermal energy. But if we remove this one, if we remove these, uh, and let's show here, uh, trying to remove this one. And let us say we allow it this to expand, and after expansion, this comes here. So let's say this is after expansion, this one. So this was an exchange of mechanical energy or the work. So that is an example of how it is different from how the thermal energy and the work energy is different. Okay, so that summarizes this particular uh, or, and concludes this particular lecture. Hopefully, uh, you have uh, got a better idea of the different types of systems and the uh, that's closed system, open system, and the isolated system. Thank you.